Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are checking out the RRS Sir John Murray. Um, which, I don't know, it seems like the, the boat that was supposed to be called Bodie McBoatface, but I don't think it is that boat. Anyway, uh, this was built by GB Danny 96 and, uh, it looks beautiful. It's also got something quite interesting, um, with it, which is this thing right here, which, uh, I haven't read into, and, uh, I don't know how it works. Um, but we're gonna try and use whatever that is. So, um, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and get up to the bridge and, uh, we'll, we'll get out to the ocean. Hey! Alright, so let's go ahead and get in the bridge. Here it is right here, the wheelhouse. Sorry, that's what we should have called it. Good. Uh, we got generators, we got engines, we got emergency things. Uh, interior lights, deck lights, and navigation lights. There we go. Um, fill tank. No, we don't need to do that. Heating. We might as well put that on. Engine one, two. They're on. And generator. Might as well go on as well. Okay, good. So we got port anchor. We got starboard anchor. We got the horn. Okay, we got a GPS target. We've got autopilot. We got maps display. There it is. And we've got sonar in case we want to use it. Okay, awesome. We got a little table in here, we got a little mat to stand on, and I think we're ready to go. So here we go, we're moving. Nice. Alright, so we are actually moving now out into the ocean. Uh, I'm actually going to go to the Lathian Basin, uh, and hopefully when we get there, uh, the ship will stop itself. That's, that's what I'm hoping. So GPS autopilot, it's plotted a route right there, that's quite awesome. And we can zoom out if we want to, that's pretty cool. Uh, but no, we want to zoom in, that's fine. Uh, we should be there pretty soon. So, uh, if you guys have looked behind us, we've obviously got this crane right here, which is um, quite useful. Uh, we've also got our exhaust right at the back, as you guys can see. And we've also got a little rib that we can use, which is diesel powered, uh, as you, you can see there. There's a, there's a diesel engine, <laughs> which looks a little bit weird, but it, it works, that's fine. Um, I am really interested by this thing, so... I'm assuming you get inside and you dive down and then... Whoa! Not good. No, not good. I don't think we can catch that. We're, uh, yeah, I don't think we can. Uh-oh. <laughs> Rip. Alright, I just picked it up. We've spawned it back here because I don't think there was any way that we were going to catch that there. So, um, yeah, we've just, we've just teleported it back to base. And we should be able to jump up the side if we're smart. Which we're not. We are not smart. Come on, we got this. Just, oh, there's a ladder right there. Alright, okay. Well, sometimes you can literally just jump up straight pieces, but that's fine. Whatever. Right, get upstairs and go again. Okay, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure what this is. I think it is literally just some lights so that you can dive down. Uh, once you've dived down, it's got a length of 500 meters uh, with these two inches. So, um, you get inside. Uh, whenever you can. If you can get inside. There we go. Oh, I just done it again. I did exactly the same thing. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, so I'm I'm not going to go in there until we stop. Okay, because, yeah. Anyway, I think that's to dive safely uh, down to a certain height. And then you get out of it using the dive suits. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's sealed inside of it, though. It might be. It might actually be sealed. So it's, it's sort of got its own little moon pool, I think. Um, so you can dive down... Uh, at quite a low, um, quite a low depth already. Uh, then you get out of that thing, and that I just lost where I am. Um, and then you'll be fine. Uh, how do I? Oh, okay, it's player sensor. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess it just allows you to dive uh, a little bit deeper, but that's quite cool. Um, so yeah, in here we've got a cabin, of course. We've got a seat with a table. We've got a bed, and we've got some equipment and a shower, which actually looks pretty good, and a toilet with toilet roll. Cool. Alright, let me out. Let me out. What's in this one? Captain's room. Okay, so the captain gets a bigger one. Alright, well that's fine. Uh, also gets a similar bathroom. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's get out of here and go downstairs. Because I think there's more things that are quite interesting. Uh, if we open this door, we've got a bunch of equipment. Okay. If we open this door, we've got a bunch of rooms. A galley where we can eat. A kitchen where you cook the food. Uh, we got a cabin right here for the normal people. Another one. And another one. Uh, and I think it serves a crew of five. So, there you go. Uh, in here, this is the anchor room. So, 
Uh, we've got the ropes uh, for the anchors, which is pretty nice. Go ahead and close that up. We don't need that. Um, yeah, pretty cool. All right, so go ahead and close all the doors because they'll be using electricity. We're going to go downstairs, and this is the bit that I thought was quite interesting. Or maybe not this. Uh, we got a cargo hold right here uh, with an elevator, so you can actually put things inside. That's pretty cool. Uh, go ahead and close that. We got the moon pool. Yeah! Here we go. We've actually got a proper moon pool. That's awesome. Bow thruster maintenance hatch. We've got some crates. We got... What is this? A crane? Oh, so you can actually put the crane over there and lift things in from underneath. That's really nice. I like this. Yeah. Having moon pools in things is pretty cool. It's very cool. Okay, right. So we get outside. If we go in here, first aid room. Good. That's like a med bay. Uh, in here, a laboratory. All right. Cool. Because it is a research vessel, after all. Uh, if we go backwards, what's back here? The engines. Oh, we might want to get upstairs, actually. Because uh, we are now circling the destination. Okay, go up here. Do, 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 do. Close the door, go outside. Close the door. And up we go. Yeah, so we are literally just circling the, the place where we wanted to go. That's pretty nice. Uh, instead of it just stopping, that's, that's all right. Okay, turn this off. Uh, hopefully we can turn tighter than we were. I don't think we can, so we're going to sail away a little bit. And we'll turn around and come back. Alright, nice. Yeah. Dude, I like it. It's very nice. Alright, here we go. We're pretty much lined up. So that whole turning circle thing, uh, it's got a massive turning circle, but that's fine. Um, we're literally going to just uh, stop, I don't know, directly above where we're going. I think that's fine. Uh, we're not in deep ocean by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so, we should be good to just dive when we get there. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. In fact, actually, this thing might end up on the on the seabed. Um, maybe. I mean, that, that could be the case. Um, but let's get directly above it. That's fine. Here we go. Some rocks below us. I think that's where we're going. Uh, drop the anchor, drop the anchor. There we go. They're both going down. Nice, that's pretty good. Uh, and then when they reach the bottom, we can actually start diving. In fact, actually, we could dive anyway. Uh, so get out of here. That's good. Go ahead and close that. Go downstairs. And I guess we just get inside of this thing and then we go down. So we sit in a seat. If we can. Can't get in. Okay, we just jumped on top of it. Come on, let me in. There we go, we're in. Good. Um, go ahead and close the door. There we go. Put on a little diving suit. Sit in this little seat. And lower bell. Here we go. Yeah, look at it. So we go straight down. Yes. We're actually in an airlock, so this thing is completely fine. Dude, this thing is cool. This is very cool. I don't think the ship has actually fully stopped either. Uh, which is a little, like a tiny bit annoying, but that's fine. Um, okay, cool. Raise bell. Heater. We've got a heater if we need it. It's going to be cold down here. All right. We're still going down. Yeah. Oh, this is nice, though. I really like this. It's such a cool idea. And then I suppose the point is that you end up sort of getting out down here. Um, our anchor is actually on the ground. That's pretty nice. So we shouldn't go any further. Or very much further. Um, but yeah, we get out like here. And we jump out. There we go. And then we get a safe place to return to. That is very cool. Oh, it's still going down. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> my bad. I think we need to get in through the bottom. So we got to be quick. There we go. All right, that was lucky. That was very lucky. We need to go back up. Just slightly. <laughs> Just slightly. Come on. There we go. Um, stop going up. There we go. Nice. So we'll leave this midair. That's pretty cool. And we can explore the trench. That's very nice. Look at that. There's not really usually anything down here. Or very much down here. Uh, but there's some coral. That's pretty cool. There's a, a sh fish. There's a fish. And there's some little like, mountain things. But that's it. Yeah. It's still pretty cool though. I mean the whole idea of it is nice. I like it. Um, but yeah. Nice. Cool. We can actually um, take a little look at our, our anchors if we wanted to. There they are. Beautiful. Okay. So uh, I just changed the weather just to see how it dealt with things. Uh, and it's apparently not well, so we're gonna get inside uh, and we're gonna get back up to the surface as quickly as we can uh, Hopefully this all goes well. I I'm assuming it will. 
but uh, I really don't know. We are anchored down, so that's that's a good point. Um, but we do need to aim for like a small circle within the ship, which obviously isn't a very good a good situation to be in. Look at it, look at it. There's our ship. We got the biggest waves. Uh, I am gonna put this back on the roof. Yes, I am. So we can actually see properly. Uh, and there's our ship right there. So hopefully this will be fine. Uh, it might be. It might not be. I. I guess there's not really any way of checking. Yeah. We're just going to have to hope for the best here. Come on. We got this. We'll be fine. I'm sure we will. Yep. Okay. Right. Well, we're, we're very close now. Okay. We're extremely close now. Come on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I was going to say, does it have a system in place to deal with this? I don't think it does. Uh, okay, drop us a little bit more. There we go. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Good. I I mean, I don't see a way of us actually getting into this thing. Unless we go up now. <gasps> oh, so close. So close. Go down again. Oh, we are very close to being in. That's so annoying. Look at it. We're like jammed in there. Like a jam sandwich. Come on, pull us in. Oh, it's not going to work. Okay, right. Let's do it in calm weather then. Because uh, I, I do want it to get back on. Uh, and then we'll mess around with the rib. And uh, we might even mess around with the rest of the ship. Seems like a good idea to me. Okay, so I've made the weather a lot more calm. Okay, so this should pull up and go straight in. Uh, hopefully that happens. Here we go. And... It is having issues. It is definitely having a few itty bitty issues. Uh... I don't know how we fix this. But to try again. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We'll try again. One more time. It doesn't really matter whether it goes in or not, but... Um... If it does, that'd be cool. That's, that's all. Alright, stop. Good. Now up. There we go. There we go. We're up. We're in. Oh, it hasn't actually gone in properly. It's not gone in. Oh. It didn't go in properly. But we're in. Okay, right. Cool. Um. Good. All right. Open the door. I can't open the door. Go up. There's a tsunami. Um, right, there's a tsunami. So, good. Uh, that door's open. We need to go. <laughs> we need to leave quickly. Raise the anchors. That is a necessity. A necessity. All right, raise the anchor. Raise the other anchor. And go. Floor it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're surfing. We're surfing a tsunami. Are we faster than it? I don't think we are. All right, we're going to have to keep going in a straight line. And we're going to hope that we land... Properly. <laughs> We're going to hope that we land properly. Please? Please? We're fine. Oh, backflips. Whoa. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a backflip out of this. We've actually tipped over. We tipped over fully. We should have left the anchors down. Why didn't I leave the anchors down? Oh. Well, this is a strange situation. Um. Uh. I don't see a way of fixing this, actually. Alright. Well, um... I'm just gonna open this door and get out. <laughs> just gonna open the door and get out. Uh, we're gonna try and push the rib off. Whether this works or not, I'm not so sure. Um, deploy rib. There we go. Okay, it's pushing it. Okay. Okay, we've we've pushed it off. And that's fine. That's good. And we want to push it over. Actually, can we drag it onto the ship? Is that a thing? Hold on. So it is actually possible to deploy some sort of life raft. Uh, which is this thing. But turning it over... No. <laughs> that is a big no right there. Um, but okay, right. You know what? Because I want to test it, we're going to go ahead and respawn the ship. And we're going to mess around with the rib. Why not?
Overall, it did survive the, the like, the big waves quite well. Uh, that thing didn't go in with the big waves, but you wouldn't deploy it with the big waves, so that makes sense. Uh, this system right here is actually pretty cool. So it deploys it into the water, as you guys can see, but it doesn't let go. So you can actually jump on and then disconnect, like so. Turn the engine on and then dis like, reverse and then drive away. Look at that. That is really cool. Yeah, so you just drive away. Whee! Nice. That is pretty nice. All uh, right, okay, so let's go ahead and turn around. Uh, we'll go back. We'll try and mount up again. And uh, I think that'll be it. Yeah. Dude, I'm actually quite impressed with this thing. I mean, it did flip in a tsunami, but that was a tsunami. So, I mean, that makes sense, right? That makes a lot of sense. Uh, but here we go. So, turn in. Yes. Okay. And... Uh, flick that switch. Okay, reverse. There we go. Now go forwards. Yes. How does one... How does one connect back up? I don't really know. <laughs> I, I come back. We need that. Um, I don't know how we reconnect without jumping off, grabbing this, and pushing up. No, doesn't really work. Uh, how do we do it then? I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure. Um, okay, reverse. Yeah, straight line, that's fine. And then we're gonna go forwards. Yep. Um, come on. Come on, it's gotta be so close here. Are we pushing the whole ship? We're pushing the whole ship forwards. Come on! Please, connect. Hey, there we go. All right, nice. Go ahead and turn the engine off. All right, awesome. Click this, and it'll bring it straight back in. That is nice. That is very nice. What is this? Engine room access. Oh, that's one thing that we didn't really take a look at. So we've obviously got our fuel right in the middle. We've got some batteries and things. We've got torque, temperature, RPS. These are the engines, and this is the generator in the middle. That is pretty cool. That is very cool. Um, and then obviously you go into the rest of the ship, but... Um, I like it. I do like this boat. It's pretty cool. Uh, so, I guess I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. If you guys want to check out this ship, I will link it down below. Uh, you can go diving and things, and uh, that's just pretty cool. Uh, that thing, I like it. It's a very good idea. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. All right, okay, so I know there is something that I missed, so uh, I thought I'd quickly check it out real quick. Uh, if you come up to the, the cabin, or the wheelhouse, sorry, I keep saying cabin, uh, you turn all the things on, you get moving, that's all fine, okay, right? Everything there is okay. Uh, there's apparently a key somewhere. Uh, I don't know where the key is, so we'll have to try and find it. Um, but there is a small key that allows us to sink, uh, apparently, so uh, that's what I'm looking for. If you can see it, there it is. There it is. Activate dynamic sync. Uh, so it does actually have a sync button. Uh, I don't know where it syncs from or uh, or how it syncs, but it does, apparently. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and crank up the waves and we'll watch it sync, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, here we go. Right, we are we are going out to sea. To see what we can see, see, see. Ah, yeah, wait. Oh, that's a decompression chamber. That's what it's called, right? I think that's what it's called. Uh, so that divers don't get um, bad blood. Yeah, I think that's what it, it's for. Um, hold on, let me show you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Go inside, close it. There we go. Go inside this one. Do you really have to come out the wheelhouse to get into the main thing? That's a bit strange. Um, but yeah, go downstairs. Do, 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 do. Moon pool. Yeah, here. Uh, so if you go in here, decompression chamber. Yeah, it has one. That's really cool. Look at that. You can go and sit in there and um, it'll do you for a bit. That's interesting. All right, cool. Let me out. Let me out. I don't want to be down here when we sink. No sirree. All right. So yeah, at this point, it should be sinking. 
Um, whether or not it is sinking, I am still unsure. Uh, we seem quite high in the water, so uh, I'm assuming that it, it's not. Um, but it should be, because it, I've, I've done the key. I've done the key. Yeah. Hold on, did I did I undo the key? No, I, I left it on. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna leave this going forwards at a, quite a slow pace. There we go. Uh, and we're gonna follow behind using the, the rib. Yeah. That seems like a smart idea. Maybe. It also gives us a chance to get on the rib while, uh, being pushed out to sea. Because, yeah. There we go. Activate the engine. And follow the big boy ship. Let's go. Nice. I was hoping that it would be quicker than it. And we are. Uh, so that's lucky. It's a very lucky thing. Oh, it is sinking. Yeah, the front end is way down in the water there. Oh, yeah. Well, I got off just in time then. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. It is definitely going to the bottom of the ocean, that thing. Um, why don't we try and mount it again while it's going... Actually, that's a bad idea. Uh, but it is sinking. It is definitely, definitely sinking. That's that's really nice. Yeah, I like it. Uh, it it's going down pretty slowly. Um, we are actually dealing with these waves all right in the rib. Uh, of course, these are little tiny waves. Um, but I would assume it would deal all right with bigger waves. I mean, I, I think so. Um, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's how it sinks. So it's going down front first, and um, it'll definitely be under the water soon. Uh, but I think I am going to end the video here for now. Uh, if you guys want to check it out again, I will link it in the description down below, uh, and you guys can mess around with it for yourselves. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.